Hello everyone. Um, in our previous videos, we already installed uh, Vault, we installed the uh, PVWA, we installed the uh, CPM. In this video, we're going to integrate our Vault with our LDAP as our DC domain controller. So previously in our domain controller, we already created a bunch of uh, test users and the test groups. The cyber arc auditors, safe man managers, users, vault admins, and also some users here. For our vault, we can log in with our private arc and we can check out all settings or safes or users created by installing PVWA and CPM. All the latest PVWA saves, CPM save, CPM started with the password manager. For the users, we always can check from administrator tools, users and group. So in this video, we're gonna start to work on the integration. First login with our built-in administrator account. We already logged in here, let's log off. There's no account. System health is all green. We can start LDAP integration, new domains. We're going to use a um, non secure connection. As an example for now, later on, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to use a SSL secure connection. I'm going to use admin one account I created before. So we're gonna find out our default the only AD DC here. Connect. So now it's the directory mapping. So there's a four type of groups. Well, that means safe managers, auditors, users in uh, Cyborg. You need to map it into your AD groups. So which I already created. So let's start with that. So you can select your AD groups by typing use names and they will automatically find that for you. I already created that. Safe manager, auditors, users. You can see what kind of users we define. We design test one, test two. So we can try that later on. Save. Now we can log out, then we can try our LDAP login, test one, log in with that. So now we can go back to our vault to take a look what's happening after you logged in, after you did the directory mapping, after you logged in with your user, LDAP user. So those white, four white groups, actually three white groups, Cyborg Auditor, Cyborg Safe Manager, Cyborg Wall that means is showing here. The users groups is not showing here, but the users in that groups will be showing as a white color here as well. We also can create the, your CyberArk users. So to make our life easier, we're gonna create in a second two user, admin two, authentication, authorization, how oh, we don't need to give, member of, and I put them, um, what that means. Log off, login again, we're gonna use in this new user. To define a different account, different password. So in this way, we can have admin to login 
in our private arc and also we can have administrator login into our pwa to do configuration there's no conflict in you cannot have one account login at two different places private arc and pwa so that's why we create the two different we create one new account for our cyberarc well that means this is very simple integration without ssl you may wondering if we need to do ssl integration what's a step it's the same step but you need to do one extra which is export your ca root certificate and import into your vault so i gonna quickly present that so you need to go to your CA service, web service, and download uh, your root CA certificate. Just uh, download the CA certificate. Download the CA certificate. Copy. And uh, if you are lucky, you should be able to copy to here and post here and then you can use the command line to import it your this certificate into your machine it desktop you can type this command cert util dash add store root cert new dot cr and you will see the add store command completed successfully so we are just add it. You can check your MNC and add a snapping certificates, snapping and then computer account. You will find it from a trusted root certificate. That's the certificate we just added in. You also can just double click and then install certificate, local machine, next, next automatically or place or certificate into just root next so it's the same thing basically the certificate is going to be added here the valid from 2020 to 2030 10 years certificate um there's one more troubleshooting skills i can show you to for this kind of issue is using ldp.exe file this is from, from Microsoft support tools. So this is LDP.exe. You can download from website, turn on the Microsoft website, just connecting. You can try SSL. The port is 636 for SSL. LDAP port, LDAP over SSL server, same thing. 51 win 2012 DC.51 sec. Um, it may fail because uh, I will show you because the connection is they can, couldn't the vault couldn't reach this machine. Vault doesn't know where is this machine. Doesn't know where it is. What we can do is uh, we can edit our host file using Notepad to edit this host file. I put an IP for our AD server, 192.168.2.11. It's going to resolve to our domain, 21sectest.com. Resolve to win2012dc.51sectest.com. So just save this. Then you can try pin again. Now it's working and then you can try connect again. So actually you can see the port ID, the connection, it's 128 bit, uh, SSL cipher strength. So all those information really shows up. That means your SSL connection from vault to AD is, is, is okay. Uh, 
Once that's done, you can go back to the PVWA website and follow the steps to do integration. Since we already did that, uh, if we need to redo it, we have to manually delete this domain from here, from the options, administrative options, then you can redo it again after. So you see that you're gonna delete, you have to delete the list and then redo it from scratch from this um, user provisioning page and do LW integration. So that's all steps you need to know for in LDAP integration with SSL without SSL. Thank you for watching. That will be for today's video. Thank you.